Aries, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 27th till the 2nd of August and we've just entered another energy because we've entered Leo and that is fire, action, passion, creativity, knowing what you want and going for it. Wow! Welcome back my Cyber Angels and I hope you're well and safe. If not, do something about it, stay away from crowds, as the second lockdown in a lot of countries has returned, unfortunately, and all my wishes and prayers and healings will be going out to everybody that needs healing or needs support. Now, it's nice to see you. I'm using my nine card spread again. Um, this is the Quirin card, all over energy, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And w I'm sorry, I, I do get my intros mixed up because it comes from the heart. But welcome back my Cyber Angels and thank you for liking and sharing. And if you're new and you've landed on this page, then welcome to the channel. I do go out three times a week uh, live and I hope you will join in. So please subscribe and hit the bell on all, then you'll be notified. For just in case uh, you don't get notified, I do. You can follow me also on Instagram and Facebook, and I put out notifications that I'm going live at a certain time, making sure that you um, do not get upset and that you know that I'm going out live. So please join us. There is also a private page now um, if you're interested in workshops or anything that that's will be coming in the future, competitions or uh, uh, interaction with me and other cyber angels, then please join Charlie's Angel Crowd on Facebook. I will put it into the description box so that you can join me there when something special is going to happen. Okay, I'm also using uh, uh, the Angel Reading Cards and Archangel Metatron Cards and the Lenamon, the Enchanted Lenamon Cards. Uh, you can find the information below the, this video in the description box. If you would like to have a private reading, there is a new reading out. That's the Crystal Ball and go and have a look on my website by clicking on that little white circle in the top right hand corner in the screen at the end of the video. Okay, I love to um, uh, do a reading for you and I'm glad and thankful that you put so much trust in me to do a private reading for you. And when I go live, I give out free cards and I also answer questions that are supported with a donation, super chat or a super sticker. The first card you have is the Emperor. The Emperor also represents Aries, so Aries might be um, resonating with you if you are a cross watcher for example, but if you're not then you could be meeting up with an Aries. Um, the meaning of the card means um, the Emperor is an advisor, is a man that is well read and knows how to give advice and knows how to delegate. He is higher than the kings, so this is a definitely a very strong and mature man and knows what he wants and how to get it. He is a very helpful man, he is also a man of tradition. So. It could be a father figure, it could be a professional person or a person that you have a lot of respect for that is mature. So you might be seeking advice from a professional or from somebody that can help you with your question or issue. On Monday we have the Empress and the Empress is Mother Earth. She represents, uh, she also is Mother Earth, but she represents nature, the animals, birth uh, of children, uh, nurturing, making things, taking care of things and making them grow. And when they blossom, then she plucks the harvest. And the Empress also represents Libra. So you might be meeting a Libra. 
So that's a fire sign and an air sign. Now, uh, like I said, she represents birth. You can see her bulge. That's a baby, of course. And in this deck, it also shines, it looks a little bit like a moon. Well, we've just gone into um, Leo, like I said, so perhaps you might be more sensitive at this moment since we've just gone into Leo three days ago. Okay, two days ago, sorry, on the 21st. You might find out you're pregnant, you might hear of a birth. This birth can be of a child, but can also be of a new project. Wow. Like I said, she nurtures everything. She's got green fingers like the Queen of Pentacles. These two ladies are a lot alike. So I always thought that she represented Virgo. So don't exclude that everything is possible because everybody does see different things in the cards. So there might be a Virgo, although she is officially represents Libra, there could be a Virgo because of the the, the green fingers that she has. Okay? Um, so she will nurture everything. She, she puts seeds into the ground and she nurtures them, she waters them and she makes them grow and wait until she's patient. She's patient. So perhaps that is a word that is important to somebody else. Be patient. Okay, because it will take time to grow before it blossoms and that you can pluck the fruit. This could be also, I'm getting a number nine, although it's a number three, you're getting four is steady, a foundation, proper foundation, um, and number three is creativity. So create your own foundation, okay? Make sure it is sound as a pound. And that takes time to do. Okay, be creative about it. Um, then we go on to the Ten of Wands. It might you might have got more hay on your fork than you anticipated. You you took on too much. Perhaps you're helping everybody uh, except your help yourself. So that's why you now need advice. But the end is in sight. So, don't give up this close to your goal, okay? And 10 is an ending and a new beginning because it becomes a 1. That is on Wednesday. So, Wednesday, perhaps Wednesday, your load will be lightened. Then, on Friday, we have the moon. And the moon represents Pisces. You might even have something to do or something with a Pisces. It's number 18 again a 9, an ending. Listen to your intuition. Like I said, we've got, it looks a little bit like the moon here, perhaps with this change of Cancer to Leo, you are very sensitive. Okay, so watch out when it's full moon or a new moon, you might, your, your psyche might be working overtime. You might be feeling things or um, hearing things or seeing things or feeling things um, that you weren't conscious of before. You're a little bit more sensitive. There are things that you don't know. There you go. For this new start. You might want, you know that this new start is, is going to happen, but you might need advice on how to start this new start. It could be around the full moon or a new moon that this start is going to be initiated. Okay, you've got the two uh, trees here which represent the pillars. And the pillars are like a number 11, so the angels are giving you a doorway to step through. Be forewarned, though, um, that the moon is in this deck um, is um, 
depicted with a mask. Like the dark side of the moon, there are things that you still don't know yet you need more information. So good that you seek advice. Okay. Then the, at the weekend we have the seven of pentacles. And you are planting seeds for the next harvest. So you might be harvesting this week on Monday, but you're also planting new seeds, new wishes. Perhaps you've completed a goal or a wish, you've got it this week, and you're planting new seeds. But it will take time to grow, as you have the Seven of Pentacles. And that is what the Seven of Pentacles is saying. You will have to wait until they come to fruition, but you must nurture it. And I'll, I'm hearing somebody saying, how? How do I nurture? You nurture your goals or your wishes by manifesting. Food is for thought. Thought gives um, food for thought, right? So when you think about it, you put it out there, I would like to have a job. Okay, that's one thing, but do it more profoundly. I want a job as a nurse. I want a job as. I w want the job. Put a time limit on it. I know time is man-made, but ask the angels, could I have this job by the end of August? So, just put a time on it, and the angels will hear you, the divine will hear you, and they will give you what you need at the right time. Like I said, it takes time to grow and to blossom. It could be between three and seven months or three and seven weeks. Okay? Usually you see the beginning of the seed coming up above ground around the second or third week. Boom! There you are. That's the three. And in most cases it is a grown plant by seven weeks. It de depends on what type of plant it is. So if you have sown seeds and you know what you've planted, then you will get and then you will have the then you will know what will come out. okay? So make sure that you know what you want to plant. But I believe that something is coming to fruition in August. Um, we do, hold on, that's Aries. This is Libra. It could even seven and three is ten, so the ending could be in ten weeks. And I think then we are in Libra, end of September. Wow. Now I'm just thinking, uh, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Okay. No, I thought I just saw something else. Okay. So luck is on your side because you've got the seven as well. Now the first corner, uh, car, uh, corner card is the scythe. There you go. And the scythe means harvesting. So you will be harvesting. And the 7 is July, and we're still in July. Okay? And 3 and 4 is 7 as well, so you've got two 7s. Okay, that's quite prominent. Okay. So you are going to harvest something. And here we've got the 10. Right. 7 and 3 is 10. And we've got an 10, 10 here. So 10, it could be 10 weeks. Could be 10 weeks. Because I was talking, thinking about 10. Like I said, I was thinking and seeing something. Well, now I've seen it. 10, 10. Wow. Okay. Now we've also got the page of pentacles here. The page of pentacles. 
you'll just have to take my word for it, okay? He's wearing a hat, not a crown. So you will be getting news. This could be to do with money. So this could be that you've planted seeds to get a rice or a new job, a better paid job. So you will get news. This could be about a study. This could be about a job. This could be about an investment. All right. Now, what I'm also seeing here, we've got the Empress and the Emperor. So some of you might be coupling up because we've got the couple here. Perhaps you've been planting seeds to catch somebody's attention. Well, you certainly got it because you are in the spotlight. Okay? And you're leaving the past the past. You're cutting away a new path for yourself and you're harvesting. That's definitely the word here. You are harvesting big time. It can come unexpectedly. And again, we've got 19, which is a 10. Again, 10 is significant. You've got the Six of Swords here. You could be moving home. Okay? You could be going on holiday. You could be crossing water. You're moving away from troubled or difficult times. Rough water to smoother water. There you go. It's also confirming discard. The uh, tower in the Lenaman means that you are ambitious and you want to climb to the top. Doesn't matter uh, what it is, whether it's in work or in life itself. You want to get to the top, to the end. That's what I'm hearing. But don't forget the people around you whilst you're uh, climbing to the top to get to where you want to go. All right. Consider your own health as well. I'm seeing the tree here. Be careful of your health. You need also to take rest and to sleep. Don't let that mind churn around all the time. Just remember the people around you that love you. You are m going into a new face, a better face, a more fertile face. The Empress is fertile. The Seven of Pentacles is fertile because that's the time you plant the seeds. July. It's not late, too late to plant seeds if you haven't. Wow. Okay. You might want to... Um, I, I do keep the tarot uh, tower in the back of my mind. Unexpected changes, okay? Could happen as well. But I'm sticking to the Lenormand in this. But I think you might seek advice on which way you want to go, uh, in what direction to get to the top, to reach your goal. Now, we have the third card, and look at this, water again. You might be crossing water, you might go on a cruise, you might immigrate, you might actually fly to another country. Usually it's also depicted as a, a boat and sh airship in one of my other decks. You've got the Ten of Swords, so you might feel that somebody stabbed you in the back and you might need advice on that. But that friendship can be finished, will be cut off because you're not going to go around with somebody that stabs you in your back. You're cutting away. There you go. When I do an extensive reading, I also read those lines. So this one is confirming that one. But a 10 is a new beginning. But also a beautiful answer is that your ship is coming in. Your ship of love, abundance or money or job is coming in. You've got a three. You've been creative. You've been really creative in planting the right seeds so that your ship can come in. Awesome. You might not be seeing it coming in yet and that's why you seek more, uh, more knowledge or advice to get clarity. All right. Beautiful. 
tough times have been tough, but better times are coming along. Okay. Now, you could be meeting a new lady. Whether uh, you're a woman or a man, this could be a lady. This could be a best friend for life. She she might bring you clarity as you have the ace of swords, the ace of spades. Okay. And you've got number 29, which is 11. So the angels are giving you, showing you signs here. We are here, we're giving, sending you messages. Number 11 here, these two trees, the door, opening to a new beginning. Step through that door, don't be scared. You've got victory with the Ace of Swords. Might mean a new study. Wow. Could also be a new love. Perhaps you might be finding out that a friend of yours is pregnant. Woo! Nice one. Okay. I love it. When a plan comes together. Uh, just, I don't know, but that just came into my head. So it might mean something to somebody. And you've got the Ace of Swords. So clarity, the truth will come out if somebody has been um, mischievous. Okay. Justice. Clarity. Honesty. Right. Now look at the angel card that we've got. Also a three, three, three. You've got two threes. You've got two tens. Amazing. Actually three tens if I add these two together. The angel of truth. The truth will come out. Like I said, um, I said something in the autumn, didn't I? In September, or the end of September is Libra. And that is the Empress. Look at these. There's all leaves falling. It's autumn here. Okay? It's the autumn. The leaves are falling. Confirmation of the angel. Don't worry. And you've got a bird here. Get a different perspective. You've got time to get the information and to get a different perspective. Right. Okay, Aries. We've got six. Love, relationships and harmony. We've got the heart and the rose of love. We've got the couple. There you go. Listen to your heart. Don't let your mind rule your heart or vice versa. Listen to your intuition. Okay, well I really hope you have enjoyed this reading. If it's that you want, if the, your wish is that you wish to couple up, time will tell. Okay, listen to your intuition. If it's a job that you want, like I said, abundance is coming in. This could be love, or it could be money or work, promotions. You might finally reach that top. What you're wishing for is coming true. There will be harmony. Okay? I hope you've enjoyed it. Take care, stay safe, and I hope to see you in the life. If not, in the next video. Please share and like. Ciao, ciao. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all. And I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.